Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to validate a form using regular expressions and to be more precise, we're going to inhibit the user to only input letters. So if the user inputs, for example, Norbert, this should work. If the user inputs Norbert 12, this should not work. If the input, if the user inputs only numbers, this should also not work. So we're going to prohibit the user of inputting anything else than letters. Okay, so let's get started. Hey everyone, just a real quick note before we get started with the video. This video is part of my full JavaScript course. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I'm also going to leave a coupon code attached to that link so you can get the best price possible. Now on another note, we are now on Patreon. So if you want to support us and supporting our cause for creating this kind of free content, then please consider becoming a Patreon. Okay, so that's enough from your time. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I just created an empty folder and within here, let's create our index.html. I'm gonna start a bit of boilerplate, shift one, exclamation mark. I'm going to use materialize CSS in order for me not to style everything. So let's go to materialize CSS.com. Let's click on get started and this will send us to this link. Now we just need to copy in the CSS link into our HTML file right within our header. And also within here, we're going to link up our, our style.css file. Okay, now let's go into the body and let's start creating our skeleton. I'm going to create an H1 with the title class and this is going to include what am I doing here? This is not JavaScript. And this is going to include a text of form validation. After h1, I'm going to create an h2 for a subtitle, but we're also going to give this the class of title. And it's going to include the text of validate letters. If I add h2, I'm going to create an h4, also with the class of title. And within here, we'll have the text enter only letters and submit. Okay, next up, we're going to create a form tag. I'm going to leave the action open. And down here, we're going to create first of all, an input tag with a type of text. We're going to give this a ID. So we're going to grab onto it using JavaScript. And let's give this the ID of just name. Now let's also give this a placeholder of input only letters. Okay, and next up we need our submit button. Now I'm also going to use here a input tag but the type of this would be submit. And right within here, I'm going to use a class from our materialized CSS of BTN. Okay, let's also open this using live server and I'm going to attach it to the right side. It's going to take it out from here and attach it to, our li to the right side of our code editor. Okay, let's also open up a console. Yeah, let's open it up using F12 or right clicking inspect and then go to the console. Now, I still want to do a bit of styling in here. So let's go to our CSS. Let's first of all create our CSS file. So style.css. And I'm just going to copy in the CSS and go through and go over it really quickly. So we are setting our body to a max width of 700 pixels, our margins auto, line height to two. So we have a bit more line height between the elements. We're setting the background to a hash, hexadecimal number of three, 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 and the color of the text to a gray color of DDD. The form will have a max width of 300 pixels. So right down here, and we also set the margins to auto. So it's going to be centered in the page. Those classes of title that we created will have all will have a text line of center, margin to the bottom of two rem, and a text shadow. 
Now the h1 and h2 classes of title will have first of all the h1 text transform to uppercase and the color of the h2 should be this hexadecimal color. The input tag of type of text, so this is how we target a input tag with a type of text, will have a color. So if you type something in here, you see it would have the same color as the button and as the text up here and also a font size of 2 RAM. And now the placeholder back here will just have a gray, gray color. And also I'm going to set the button to 100 width of its container, which is actually the form. Okay, now next up, let's go into our HTML, include our script tag, which we don't, didn't create. So script and the source of main.js. And now let's create our main.js file. Main.js, and let's enter it. Now I'm going to grab onto a couple of things from our HTML for our document. First thing will be the input tag, with a type of text. So let's go with the cons, let's create a variable cons and let's call this input name. And let's go to the document, let's assign it to the document, I'm going to use get element by ID. Because we gave this one the ID of name. Next up, we're going to create another variable using const. We're going to call this submit button. Submit btn. I'm going to assign this, and we're going to assign this to a input tag with the type of submit. So exactly as we did in our CSS input. And I'll type in the type, and we're going to set it to submit. Okay, let's hit save and let's check if we grab down to the right things. So we're going to console log the input name and also comma the submit button. So as soon as I hit save, we should get, let me push this up just a bit more. And there we go. There's, there is our input tag with a type of text and our, and our input tag with a type of submit. If we hover over them, you will see there's a text and submit. Okay, next up, let's take the input submit and let's add an event listener to it. We're going to listen for a click. And then we're going to use a function called all letters. Okay, now let's go ahead and create this function using the function keyword. And this is going to take in a, a event and we're going to prevent the default behavior of the form, which, which is to this, which is to submit itself. So we're going to e dot prevent the default behavior. Okay. Next up, I'm going to create a, create an if statement, and within this statement, we're going to grab onto the input name dot value because we need this value, not the tag itself. And we're going to match it to a regular expression. Now, we need up here to first of all create that regular expression. And let's say we create a variable. Let's call, let's use the let keyword. Let's call this letters. And we're going to assign this to a regular expression using forward slash forward slash. And it must start. So let's use our carrots with either capital letters from A to Z and also lowercase letters from A to Z. And also it will end with it. So we will restrict it to only be able to use, this is not the dollar sign, letters. Anything else will be rejected. So let's use our variable of let and our input dot not node value, value must match this regular expression of letters. Sorry about that. This should be here and I should delete this. Okay, so if this is true, then let's alert a string of your name. Your name was accepted. Else, if it's not true, then we're going to 
alert. Another string of please input alphabet characters. Only. Okay, so let's try this out. If I type in here something something, submit, your name was accepted. If I type in a couple of numbers after it, we get an alert with please input alphabetic characters only. Okay. So I also want this to be, so let's delete this, hit submit again, and it works. Now I also want this field to be cleared up, so I'm going to use in our accepted if statement, our input.value, and we're going to reassign this to an empty string. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's type in Norbert, and if this is accepted, then it's going to disappear. If it's not accepted, then it's going to remain there for us to see. Okay, let's also do just a couple of styling elements. Now I'm going to just copy them in and explain them very quickly. I'm also going to grab on to, let's say we're going to grab on to the input button, to the submit btn, and we're going to change this value to match, and this is accepted. So this is not okay. Now it's okay. Did I save this? Now it's safe. So if it's accepted, it's going to change the value of the input because right in within here, this is not a text. This is the input's value. And its value is was a submit. And now we're going to change it to match. Now let's also do a couple of color styling. And for this, I'm going to show you really quickly something. Uh, let's say I'm going to go right within here with our HTML. You see this class of button that we created. Now this is also linked up to to our materialized CSS. So if I would type in here green, this is another class in materialized CSS and it's going to change the color of the button, the background color of the button to green. Now let's say we're going to change this in JavaScript. We just need to do then something like submit ptn dot class list because it was a class and let's say we want to add the class of green. Okay, so if I, so this will only work if it's true. So let's type in here this, let's submit it, and it's green. Now, if it doesn't work, it's going to stay green, so we want to replace it, for example, with another class of red. Okay. So this works, it's green, if it does not work, so if it does not work, we're going to first of all remove the class of green and we're going to add the class of red. So let's try this out. And now we have the class red. Now if we want to, if the class red exists now and we type in something that is correct, so for example, if I remove this and hit submit, then the green class will appear. Okay, so that's pretty much it for styling. And let's also replace the text within here. Let's say we try again. Okay, so now let's try this other thing. We're also going to close up the console. Let's try Norbert 12, hit submit. It's going to prompt me, please input alpha characters, alphabetic characters only. I could click OK, it's going to remain there so we can see what we did wrong. The button will change to red and also the value. So the text within the button will change to try again. If I delete this too, then we'll get a green button and the value within will be matched. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and catch you next time. Bye bye.